Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to start and complete the quest Minor Miracles. Now for this one, um, you do have to be level 25 in order to do it, and it's kind of weird how you find it. I actually found it just wandering around. I was uh, just exploring, trying to get a workshop, and all of a sudden I saw I could interact with the poster, and that's how I started the quest. It was down here in Berkeley. Um, like I said, I think there's other posters, obviously. I, I can't think this is the only one in the game. That just doesn't make sense to me, but... Uh, I did find this one, like I said, in Berkeley. It was just on the outside of a uh, building when I was walking to the where, uh, workshop. Just keep an eye out for it. That's exactly I know exactly where that is. I think it's also one on Mount Blair. But either way, once you get it, it gives you a quest marker down here, way in the south. Like I said, you need to be level 25 in order to do this. This is a pretty interesting quest because it actually gives you uh, some really good rewards. That, uh, and even better is some good power armor gear that you can use. So definitely highly recommend it doing it when you're level 25. And once you get inside the building, uh, you do have to clear it out. There are a lot of enemies in this particular building, so watch out for that. And they range. I fought level 14 Scorched when I first got here, and the second time through it was level 22 Minor Mole People guys. You do have to go through the receptionist's office and find the, uh, I think there's uh, information on that, and then you have to go to the terminal here down in the workshop. This is down some stairs. If you just kind of explore, it's in the basement. Once you get there, just look at the terminal and you can find the plans and then you're actually able to build power armor. Now, this is kind of weird and a little bit different. I usually run around in power armor, so uh, it was really weird for me to be able to access the power armor station. In order to access it, if you don't know, um, what you need to do is first off be out of the power armor. And what you do is you just place the power armor chassis anywhere. You need to have a chassis in order to do anything with it and then you're able to interact with the power station armor. This isn't unique just to this area, you can do it wherever. I had no idea how to do it until uh, I was kind of playing around and figuring stuff out. So um, yeah, that's how you do that. So once you actually start playing around with it and you're actually able to create the excavator armor, as you see, it requires a lot of materials. Now it looks like I have none, but really what happens is I think, since this is technically inside of a building, I didn't have access to any of my stash stuff. I don't really know why it didn't at first, but Either way, I ended up going to my stash, clearing everything out, coming back, and just doing it because I thought I had to do it here. You can actually do this excavator armor at any power station, so it didn't need to be at this one in particular. It just, I thought it had to be. Now, as you see, all the fun materials you need, you will need a lot of screws and a lot of springs, um, as well as some black titanium. Black titanium is getting from killing the mole miner people. Uh, they're kind of found all throughout the Scorched Waste, I guess. Welch is usually a pretty good go-to area. Uh, I think their suits are what give the black titanium scraps. So as long as you pick them up, or as long as you kill them and pick up their suit scraps, you should be able to get some as you go. I found more than enough before I was even able to do all this stuff, but I'm also a hoarder, so. Now, for the screws and the springs, there's a really good way to get those uh, in bulk. I have a video actually explaining how to get a lot of that stuff. Um, at first it was just for screws, but it actually works out really for springs. So I'll have a link in the upper right corner if you want to check that out, or I'll have a link at the very end of the video explaining how to get all of the screws and springs you'll need, because you'll need a lot of them. So as you see here, I scrapped, or I got a whole bunch of it made just from that one spot. So um, this is actually going to be one of the workshops. It actually has a power armor uh, station in it, which was awesome because you also can get junk from it. So you're able to pretty much gather everything and make the stuff. So once you make an entire set of the excavator armor, you need to go back to the building and then you actually need to scan it into the system. And that's just as simple as just walk up to it and hit the button when all of the parts are equipped. Hit the button, you're good to go, and the quest is complete. Also, when you're exploring this place, make sure to really check it out because there's a lot of parts around. I think I found four fusion cores and pretty much a full set of power armor. Once you finish the mission, you actually get a plan for the power armor stations. Make sure to read that plan so you can actually get it. Um, otherwise, you obviously can't. But that's the biggest reward is the fact that now any of your bases you can use can now uh, update and repair your power armor. Side note, all, every single red rocket station has power armor station as well as that that's George's junkyard workshop that also has it so just keep that in mind you'll find them here and there throughout the entire waste. 
That's about all I got, guys. Where did you find the poster to start this quest? Like I said, I was, I'm was i pretty sure there's more than just the one spot. Regardless, let me know in the comments down below. If you like other video game-related content, that's kind of what I do, so consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor, and until next time, keep your story going.